I, I want to show you something awesome. What do you want to show me awesome? I want to show you um, what I, one, of, one of the things that I got for Christmas, which is a custom Muppet. A custom Muppet. Yeah, huh? You can go to FAO Schwartz, and they have what's called the Whatnot Workshop, and you can make a custom Muppet. And um, the, my, my, my boyfriend, whose name is Kevin, who's very nice. Hi, Kevin. I haven't quite learned how to work her yet. Made me a custom Muppet. That's what he said. Anyway. And, and she has red curly hair, just like me. And she is dressed like the Statue of Liberty, because when I was a kid, I um, was not even huger nerd than I am now. And I was obsessed with the Statue of Liberty. Like, for my 10th birthday party, I had a Statue of Liberty-themed party. And we played Pin the Torch on the Statue. And my sister sculpted a Statue of Liberty head out of, like, mint chocolate chip ice cream and sugar cones. And so he, he made me a Muppet dressed like the Statue of Liberty. Hello. That thing's horrifying. I am not. No, it is. It really hey, is. Crappy puppeteer. <laughs> Oops. I see your mouth moving, shit. Well, yes, I'm not exactly a professional. You feel puppet. So this is the last. What the fuck is wrong with you? Live of the year. It's true. Gone through a year of 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 perfecting our craft, so to yeah. speak. I, I don't so really know if that's the right term at all. And, I, you know, we, we had Doug. We did have Doug, and we had, uh, we've had, you haven't been here sometimes, we've had Lupa, we had Derek, and we've had Rose, uh, Roses was on here once, and Hope was on mm -hmm. here, and... Hope has been a few times. Yeah. Catherine would do on here one time, you know, everybody's done this. It's like the town they, pump. <laughs> they want me to hide under the desk and do the whole bit as the Muppet. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Because how are you going to read the stories? Oh, God, get that. Oh, God. I think it would be awesome. I love how she... if Tara could actually work me correctly. I love how she has but the big... She sucks. She's got the big red alcoholic nose, so... It's a big red alcoholic it's, nose. It's big red alcoholic, yeah. It's, it's, it's a horrible thing to say about a gin, Muppet. Gin blossoms and such, you know. Uh-uh. Yeah. It's more like a joyful Rudolph nose. <laughs> Yeah, Rudolph's got probably got a liver the size of Texas. Because it was a Christmas gift. So. All right, let's see here. We have many awful stories tonight. Catherine worked overtime. I, I must say, she, she found so much awful, and I we're going to we're going to do that if I can find the intro. There it is. Did I finally fix the intro? Let's find out. I fixed the fucking intro! Yay! Yay! Each week, Catherine goes out on the worldwide interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, and brings it back here in a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong with You? And we're going to start with um, some, another. Kids always find a way to get fucked up. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. What you do, what laws you enact, if they want to get fucked up, they will find a way to get fucked up. And that, that's what this story is about. Educators worried by the rise of students who snort crushed candy. Well, I mean, it's better than what we learned about meth last week, because damn... Trend among some students to crush certain candy and snort or inhale it, dubbed, quote, smoking smarties, is causing concern among some drug educators. It is not a narcotic of any sort. They are not getting high, uh, said Carol Williams, project coordinator of the Shelby County Drug Free Coalition Project. It just keeps going. That thing's got an acronym like crazy. Look at that. It's the drug, the Shelby County Drug Free Coalition Project Safe Place Programs of Family Connections Incorporated. They're not going to be able to shorten that to Shield. It's got a freaking fucking business card this long. What the hell? Yeah. The students, often middle schoolers, crush candies such as Smarties and use already powdered candies such as Pixie Sticks or powdered drink packs such as Kool Aid and snort them into their noses. Some cases, students. Why? Uh, 
They will crush a pack of candy, put the pack in their mouth, and inhale or blow the fine granules out as if they were smoking. They... Th here's why. They think... It's funny. <laughs> I okay, I love this. It shows that willingness to experiment and try different things, said Williams. Later, it may not be Smarties. It may be alcohol. It may be cigarettes. It may be marijuana. Um, no. The girls on my baton twirling team used to mix pixie sticks and Zima and drink it. Yeah, but that was an alcohol. This is there's no drugs here. Yeah, it was like really, really alcoholic Kool Aid. Th there are no drugs here. There, there are no. This is this is just idiots. Our children are idiots. I mean it. Yeah. If you are actually getting okay, when you snort cocaine, and no, I don't have any personal experience. But I've seen a lot of movies, and Catherine, and you, drug counseling mom, um, when you snort cocaine, your entire nasal tract is not happy. All sorts of horrible things happen there. And it's not just because of the cocaine, it's because you're putting this granulated powder through your nostrils, and it's just shredding every soft tissue it can find. The nosebleed part of giddy of cocaine... That's, oh, uh, yeah, you're, yeah, let's whip them up. The, the nosebleed part of cocaine, that's not just because it's cocaine. It's because you have granulated sand-like powder shooting through your nostrils. Your nose doesn't like this. So kids are doing the snorting part without the getting high part. And I can understand someone being addicted to cocaine and keep doing it and keep fucking up their nostrils because it's an addictive substance. This is fucking candy! Yeah. I... <laughs> I don't get it. Were we ever this stupid? I have never snorted any sugary substance, so I can say no. I don't know about you. Um, I've, I've had some people tell me that they've done it. I won't name any names, but you know who you are. Um, yeah, I don't, um. If there's no high involved, what are you doing? I know, like, you're not even presumably getting the benefit of the sugar. So you're just giving yourself a sugary nosebleed for no good huh. goddamn reason. Because, because they think it's funny. <laughs> well, you know, they're not allowed to sell candy cigarettes anymore. No, they're not. So, because I totally used to get those, and my friends and I used to just pretend we were really smoking because he could blow smoke through those, and they're not allowed to sell those anymore. When I was a kid, the dumbest thing I ever did, I remember about me middle school age, the dumbest thing I ever did was I emptied an entire fire extinguisher just because I wanted to see what would happen. Indoors. There was no fire. I was just like, I wonder what happened if I did this. <laughs> It oh. eventually stopped spraying? Yes. Oh, that I, you know, I figured out. But at least there was curiosity involved there. You know, this. What the f kids? What the That's the dumbest thing you ever did as a kid. I don't believe that for a second. In middle school. As a fucking grown up, you tried to steal the Olympic torch. That was I don't in middle. That, that was just in middle school. I'm not sure I believe that either. Speaking of the, uh, okay, I don't even. What? I don't know how puppeteers do this. My hand is starting to hurt. <laughs> Tara's hand is starting to hurt. I mean, because I'm not her. I'm different. I'm a muppet. Get but your hand out of her ass. She doesn't have an ass. She's just a torso with a head. Um. Okay. I know holiday shopping can be stressful and all. We've we have all dealt with the holiday shopping stresses but um folks this this here is is not not the way to deal with it um this one comes to us where, where does this story come from i i'm i'm tempted to say florida where is it new york oh no oh no this new is york, york. batavia new york a woman spent her christmas in jail after she allegedly punched a Walmart greeter as she left the store 
on Christmas Eve. Jaquetta Simmons, uh, 26, was charged with two counts of second-degree assault. She faces a second count because the victim, Grace Suzozi, Suozzi? <gasps> 70, is older than 65. What the fuck? Patterson said Simmons is accused of punching and knocking down Suozzi uh, after the employee asked Simmons to see receipts for items the customer was carrying in her bag. After hitting Suozzi, Simmons ran out of the store, but employees and customers quickly surrounded her until police arrived. You punched somebody's grandma! S suffered fractures to the left side of her face. You broke her face! Who punched... Over, can I look at your receipt? That's her job, bitch! And I know there are people that hate that, like, consumerist has this whole thing about, no, you don't have to show them the receipt, blah, 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 you should refuse, and if that's the hill you want to die on, that's fine, that's your thing, not mine, but you don't fucking assault people yes! over Christmas Eve when they're 70. It's Christmas! I mean, you don't do that at all. I mean, what if, what happened to Christmas? Christmas Eve! That was, that was Saturday to Christmas Eve, kids were waiting up for Santa, and there's carolers in the streets, and peace on earth, and goodwill to our men, and this bitch punched grandma. Yeah. For no good re Could I please see your receipts? No! <laughs> That's why. That's why. She I hope she got a hell of a lot of coal in her stocking. Actually, I don't, because you know the price of coal is shot way up. I was kind of like, you know, I hope Santa brings me coal, because I could buy a car. Well, I hope it was already burning. Okay, there you go. That... That works. That, yeah. Because, Jesus Christ, lady. Tis the season. It's not tis the season to give put someone in the hospital, for fuck's sake. All she was doing was her job. Do you play, I mean, did, did, how does this woman act in the rest of the world? Anyone who's just doing their job but happens to inconvenience her. Does she just haul off and clock them? Probably. Maybe. Hey lady, can you Maybe move? she saves that for special occasions like Christmas. Hey lady, can you move your car? We need to collect the garbage. Wham! This, 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 you know, fuck. No! You failed Christmas! You have failed you know, Christmas hard. Like Scrooge is sitting there somewhere going, wow, that's fucked up. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. The, the ghost of Christmas future is going, I'm out. Yeah. I don't want nothing to do with this bitch. I, I, I'm not. She's on her own. Fuck it. Oh, okay. Let's see what. What else? Oh God. What else do we have? Oh, Jesus. I, I don't even have a segue to this one aside from Oh, Jesus. This is from San Francisco. Cops, fake liposuction doc flushed fat down toilet. What? A San Francisco man who allegedly posed as a doctor and performed liposuction on an unsuspecting woman then flush, flushed the fat down her toilet was arrested Thursday and is facing several felony charges. Carlos Guzman Garza, 49, also known as Carlos Guzman, allegedly operated a dermatology clinic in the 2500 block of San Francisco's Mission Street, uh, called the Derma Clinic, and assumed the identity of a physician's assistant with a similar name to his. Garment, Guzman, Guzman Garza, I, so many syllables. Guzman Garza, who has no medical license, claimed the clinic was operated by himself and a doctor, but neither the doctor nor the real physician's assistant is affiliated with the clinic. I think your first clue, lady, is if they're doing the liposuction in your bedroom and he's flushing shit down your toilet. No. He said they said it says he did her at the did it at the office. But he says down her toilet. Yes, but on the day of the procedure, Guzman Garza picked up the woman in her house, drove her to the office, and had her hold her IV bag for him during the procedure, during which he smoked a cigar. There's another red flag. Then a few days later, he showed up her house with the fat to dump down her toilet. Maybe he that soap thing didn't work out for him. Ding dong! Hi, you remember that shit we sucked out of your butt? Can I put it down your john? 
also treated the victim's daughter for acne with a series of injections of an unknown substance in her face. All of the fuck this guy. Absolutely every single piece of the fuck this guy. <sighs> wow. And we're getting a lot of these, like, fake plastic surgery things. Yeah, okay. Like, we're, we got the guy that was injecting, like, fucking bathroom caulk into women's asses. You remember that one? Yes. And last week we had someone who injected a bunch of cement into someone's ass. Yeah, the fix a flat. Yeah. Yeah. Now we have this guy who's like sucking fat out of women while he smokes a cigar. Yeah, you're gonna look so pretty. Uh. <laughs> oh, let me Ladies, just wipe that this off. This isn't there. Mad Men. If the doctor lights up, something right? Yes. Walk did, out. Did you, but, 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 yeah. Okay. Fuck this guy, but... Be an informed consumer. I know. The minute he's puffing up a cigar, that, that should be like, uh, excuse me, check please. Yeah. Yeah. I can't... Ugh. I can't... Bl I don't know if I can blame this And why did he keep the fat for six days and then show up to flush it down her toilet? Was he waiting for it to age properly? Yeah, like, where... what? What was he doing with it for those six days? Like, where was it? Maybe that dynamite thing he tried just didn't pan out, you know? And wouldn't that have really horribly clogged the toilet? Oh, God. Oh, I don't... I'm just saying, that doesn't seem flushable. Does it? <laughs> I would have hate to be the guy at Roto-Rooter who, like, I mean, I'm who not showed saying... up to deal with that. What did you like... put down here? My ass. Oh, yeah, it looks like so it. Human fat. <laughs> I don't think that's flushable. I don't. You cannot flush your own ass. I don't think so. You, you, one cannot flush one's own ass. It's like a zen thing. <laughs> oh, God, let's keep going. Oh, Jesus. This one's actually tamer, only... Uh, that's, a hor that's horrible, because it's not, but it kind of is. <laughs> you just contradicted oh, yourself. I know! Many times. I know! This is hurt. I know. Villagers barricade themselves in pub to hide from naked man with axe. Really? Man, Friday the 13th has changed a lot since I was a kid. William Power banged his axe on the window of the pub after getting fed up of people traipsing through his garden. Terrified, Obviously. Uh, terrified patrons wedged the pool table against the door as 53-year-old William Power wielded his axe as a warning to people who used his garden as a shortcut. Power flew into a rage after repairing his garden fence, only to see it breach for the latest time. He lost his temper and stormed down Main Street in Almond Bank to confront the trespassers, who saw, saw him armed with an axe and fled into the village pub. As the villagers hid inside the inn, Power, who was stri stripped to the waist, repeatedly tapped the woodcutter's axe on the window as he stared in. Power, now of the uh, court in place, uh, admitted breaching the piece by brandishing the axe and causing fear and alarm to patrons by using it to hit the window. I feel like this is probably what SNL would do with Shaun of the Dead. I know, right? And then, you know, the Queen song would pipe up and they'd all beat up the guy with the axe. Could it, it, if you find yourself in the middle of the street with an implement of destruction in your hands as the means to solve whatever dispute may be at I'm hand, sorry, no. You're not even going to get to finish that sentence and I will tell you why. Because just last week on this the very shotgun, program, yes. you walked around, you said that if it wasn't against the law, you would walk around waving a loaded gun at people. So don't even, you fucking hypocrite. <laughs> you gotta understand some of the shit's done for comedy purposes. Oh no, oh no, no no. Okay, yeah, I really would like to point a loaded gun at people. That's kind of, that, that, yeah, that's... So you don't get to stand on your high horse and be like, blah, 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 blah. Don't be brandishing weapons at people, because you would totally do it. 
You're that guy. You'd I be running around, shirt off, shotgun in one hand. Well, no, I did. No, okay, Tara. Tara, 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 Tara. I would draw the line at taking my shirt off because while I may point a gun at someone, I would not invoke that horror on another human being. That's just too far. I'm sorry. That's just that. That that's that's too far. The shirt stays on. That that is that why she isn't with us tonight. That is why. She's having LASIK done. It She's re, her retinas are just shot to in hell. The corner somewhere fetal. Oh god. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. No. Yeah. At more naked crazy. Every I, every. It's it's almost come a cliche now to say every week because every fucking week more naked crazy. Where is this one come? Um, Bozeman Daily Chronicle. We haven't had any Florida That's, this week. I'm amazed. Bozeman's Montana. Bozeman, Montana, yeah. Um, naked, roaring man arrested after sleeping in stranger's home. That's really? an alli- that that fucking headline's alliterative as hell. Well, not alliterative, but that that's a florid headline. <laughs> naked, roaring. That's just an image in your head, isn't it? What? You know that that. And I know you don't understand that yet, Tara. But if you make it to Magfest, you will, and you're gonna hate it. You're gonna you you will learn the horror of what you, you'll learn. Awesome. And you'll hate. Don't you have that on a T-shirt? I do. It's a thing. Um, a 31 year old Bozeman man was arrested on suspicion of sleeping naked in a Deer Lane garage and then roaring at officers trying to capture him. Thomas Lieben Manley was arrested Tuesday on misdemeanor charges of criminal trespassing, resisting arrest, and obstructing an officer. He was initially ordered held in the uh, Galton County Jail on $855 bond. That's a really specific number there. Yeah. Um, a man arrived home to find a strange pickup in the driveway. Uh, he went inside and saw signs that someone had been in the garage. Inside the garage, the man discovered Manley sleeping on the floor in a sleeping bag. Manley awoke when the resident kicked his feet, and the two briefly spoke. Then Manley jumped up and spun out of the sleeping bag completely naked. Manley ran inside the house and locked himself in a bathroom. <laughs> Calden County Sheriff's deputy and a Montana Highway Patrol trooper arrived, and Manley, quote, came running out of the bathroom toward the officers, yelling and waving his arms around. He was still naked and unarmed. Um... You're, I, I, I'm willing to bet you're not going to win that confrontation. When Manley opened the door to Roar again, the trooper used a shotgun to shoot him in the stomach with a non-lethal beanbag. <laughs> Manley continued to resist arrest, but the officers were able to cuff him. The entire time, he did not say a word, just yelled or roared. His, he is man, his name is Manley. Yeah. I, I kind of, I, he, his name Maybe, is, you know, maybe he watched a lot of Dead Poet Society and was just sounding his barbaric yawp over the rooftops of the world. A sweaty, whatever, tooth man. Yeah, I remember that bit. Yeah, you know, maybe he was just having his, oh, captain, my captain moment, and they totally stifled his shit, dude. And he was like, no! I, no yeah. stifling school program, you will not! Yeah, only naked. What's up with that? Yes. Who goes to someone else's house? A total stranger's house. A- and gets naked. Apparently a lot of people. A lot, of, yes, stuff? apparently a lot. Why? Why? And they make fucking sandwiches. <laughs> this Why? isn't even new. This is a regular thing for us. Not just <laughs> naked people, but naked people breaking into other people's homes and making themselves at naked home. <laughs> making themselves at naked home. Where are the manners, is all I ask. Who raised these people? I was raised to have good etiquette and act like a good guest in other people's homes. Where are the manners, is all I ask. Where's the etiquette in modern society? Pardon me, sir. May I come inside, strip to my bottom, and sleep in a sleeping bag in your home? That's, That's all we're just, asking. Just some common It's, it's just rude. It is. It is. <laughs> just what? <laughs> Why? I love how he thought he had a chance against the cops. Mm. You know? Yeah. Getting a little yeah. echo on your end. I didn't say anything. I know, it's coming know. for me. me. Oh. Your microphone, Your microphone can hear me. Here. 
Oh. Well, be less loud. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't have a microphone microphone. I'm just, I'm on an iMac. The microphone and camera well, yes, and everything. You have to are... turn the volume down. But then I can't hear. Oh. Oh. I, I got, echo, I got the echo. hearing of like a 90 year old lady. So. Echo. Live, everybody. <sighs> All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, okay. More of this. Why more of this? Why does this... Uh, uh. Oh, of course, this guy, he aimed high. He, he fucking aimed high. Holy shit. Man tries to take 247 animals on a plane. Really? Czech National was nabbed in Argentina for trying to board a transatlantic flight with 247 live animals, including poisonous snakes, endangered reptiles packed into a bulging suitcase. Sweet. You know ladies what? And At least he didn't stuff him down his pants like the last couple guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we have achieved snakes on a fucking plane. Life imitates shitty movie. No, we haven't, because he did not get those snakes on a plane. He tried. Yes, you're right. You're right. He we tried. We achieved snakes in the motherfucking terminal. Snakes in. Okay. Yes. He tried. Man, but I yeah. Wasn't there that guy that had all the lizards? Like, yeah. He or no, it was birds. He cut holes in the yes. front and the crotch of his pants for the birds' heads to stick out. And then there was the guy who had all the turtles in his pants. Yes. And then there was the guy who had all the snakes wrapped up in in pantyhose. So at least he used a bag and didn't just stuff them all down his pants. We're always looking for a bright side here, aren't we? At least he used a bag. We're always looking for whatever glimmer of a bright side. I try so hard. I try so hard. The man identified as uh, Carol Abelofsky, 51, was caught while trying to board a flight from Madrid when shocked baggage x-ray technicians and staff uh, in Greater Buenos Aires noted, quote, organic substances moving inside. When they opened the bag, they found more than 200 reptiles and mollusks, among them nine species of poisonous snakes, including South American pit vipers, packed mollusks. in clear mollusks. Isn't a mollusk like... What's a mollusk? A snail. Again? Right. I... Huh. I, I, I just... I, I, so, I, would, I would hate the to question, be that. Did effort. they all just fucking kill each other? Because he had all these different kinds of poisonous snake and snakes and boas and snails? No, they were fine. He put them in little puppy dog tails and no, like, no, no, no. They were fine. You put them in Ziploc bags and you just leave them in there. They're okay. They're happy. They're fine. I just I'm thinking that poor X-ray person. The, the bag comes through. Eh, the guy's got a dildo. Whatever. It fucking happens. Bag goes through. Of course, we never call it your dildo. Right. It's right. the it's just dildo. The dildo you know the bag back neck bag comes through oh guy's got you know he's got a walkman there whatever. the bag comes through holy shit it's like you stared into hell it's like that scene from the end of the craft where she loses her shit and the whole house is covered in like bugs and snakes yes! and fucking crawfish and everything like that's the inside of that bag yeah. there are mealworms popping up out of the locks and yeah you gotta step back a second and think did i take lsd this morning Okay, no. Flag that guy! Crap! I forgot to park, pack the python! I always forget that one thing that I'm gonna need! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Alright, we got one more. Okay. Before we do this next story, I would like to preface this by saying... I normally do not do stories... I try to avoid stories where people actively hurt other people. In this case, I'm making the rare exception because yesterday T, uh, TBS showed 24 hours of a Christmas special. Yeah, a Christmas story. A Christmas story, yes. 24 hours of it. And this... I... Did I someone just, shoot their eye out? Not exactly! Uh-oh. I'm going to let the, the, the headline speak for itself for a minute and sit back and... <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Okay, I should laugh. I should. This is... 
A 15 year old Tucson boy has quote, quote, significant injuries after a friend shot him in the penis with a BB gun Monday morning. The two boys were playing with BB guns on the northwest side. The shooting was accidental. The teen was taken to the uh, University of Arizona Medical Center with injuries said described as, quote, significant, but not life threatening. I mean, I guess it's better than a real bullet. Wow, we never so, saw that. We never saw that part where Ralphie shoots his brother in the dick. No. <laughs> <laughs> you'll shoot your dick off. You'll shoot your dick off. Oh no. I shot my dick off. <laughs> Quickly, I whipped up some been, tears. That would have been a whole different movie. You know, I bet that there is like a porn parody of a Christmas story, and that's exactly what happens. If not a parody, I there's bet. a fanfic. Someone you out people, there has done a fanfic. You people Google that shit, I bet you that there's a porn parody in which somebody shoots their dick off. Mom, I was outside playing, and I shot an icicle, and it went through my dick. And is then a woman, and then fucks the whole town. Because that's how those things go. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That, that's just, that, that ain't right. That, oh, I hit the wrong, I hit the wrong button. There we go, I fixed it. I fixed it. I sent you one that got tweeted to us today that we should totally do, because wow. Should. Yeah, okay, alright. We'll go into like, overtime for this. All time. the crazy in the world is contained in this one story. Yep. Yep, this one kind of is. We'll go into overtime on this one, because I did see this story. Um, it's worth it. Trying to kill a mouse with a 9mm handgun, moron outs roommate as pedophile. In Taylor's because, you know, that happens all the fucking time. In Taylorsville, Utah, a 34-year-old man named Paul Kunzler was arrested and charged with two counts of child rape, three counts of sodomy, and child abuse. Pretty much what happened is these guys have been keeping a 13-year-old girl captive. Awful assholes. No, no. She what? was there voluntarily. Oh, there, voluntarily? He was in, a in the closet and told the police she'd been sneaking out of her house to fuck this guy. Oh, you scumbag. But, but here's... his roommate accidentally shot the other roommate because he was trying to kill yep. a mouse with a gun, which overkill. And so the cops had to come, and they find this 13-year-old girl in the closet. And they're like, why, little 13-year-old girl, what are you doing in that closet? And she's like, oh, I was just here to see my boyfriend. Al alcohol was involved. Yeah, someone in the channel said, darkest episode of Tom and Jerry ever. But the best part was... The mouse survived, and the police are hailing the mouse. I'm not, I'm not making this up. The police are hailing the mouse as a hero. That mouse is a hero. <laughs> Had he not, you know, been oh. around doing mousy stuff, then nobody would have tried to shoot him, and nobody would have found the 13-year-old girl. And the yeah, and... and yeah, but like, how does that? Can you imagine being the reporter on this story? Like, you're just standing there, like, what? Bullshit. What the fuck happened? Bullshit. What? It's like, like oh, yeah, you're someone said a headline, and you're just going, "Are we the Onion now?" Someone just said, "Basil of Baker Street solves another case." Yes, great mouse detective for the win. Oh, so so what? Did, what have we learned this week? We learned that, uh, oh, God. you know, I, don't fuck 13 year olds and don't Obviously. try to kill mice with guns. And don't try to kill mice with guns. Yeah. Unless they're like, well, no, you know what? Just don't try to kill mice with guns. Snorting candy. Nope. What? Well, not what? as horrifying as meth. Still dumb. Still dumb. Nope. You're getting all, you're, you're, you're getting all the side effects. With none of the bonuses. Don't do that. Um, we learned that you think only you should be allowed to randomly brandish weapons at people in public. Yes. Yeah. No. Um, 
I should, but I, just I should not be allowed to take my shirt off. That should be a law. Um, we've learned if you're going to be naked in a total stranger's house, little etiquette. Yeah, ask, ask, ask permission. Her. Just may I release the trouser snake? Yeah, that's so like hard. If, if you're a guest in someone else's home and the urge strikes you to get naked. Just, you know, ask if they if they want you to get naked. Exactly. Or would it be okay with it? Just just, just a little common courtesy. Maybe courtesy. knock before just walking into someone's house. Knock naked. before you come. I'm I'm sorry. Uh, that was awful. You, yeah, should, I, yeah, you should be. Yeah, that was that was bad. Knock three times on the ceiling if you want me. Twice on the pot if the answer is no. Um that song's ruined for everybody now, not just because of my horrible singing. We've learned the TSA have a weird fucking job. Yeah. And that dildos are not the worst thing they've ever had to, to deal with. Because I swear, staring into that x-ray must have been like looking into the Maw of Cthulhu. <laughs> Just a writhing mass of snakes yeah. and... A writhing <laughs> mass of stuff. You're going to see that in your fucking nightmares. And because it's an x-ray, you could see all of it in different layers. It just all scrambled together. Um, I sent you something you should show everybody. What did you send me? I sent you the link. I'm looking. It's a thing, and it's neat. Someone made it for us. Okay, let's let's have a look. It's... Oh, okay, yes. Nice. Very nice. Very... God damn, someone's been looking at my... Did someone find that poster online and put it in the... Jesus, someone has been looking at my room very, very closely, and I'm kind of scared. That's Benjamin awesome. J made that for us. That is fucking awesome. I love that. That is amazing. Tweet Good that job. shit! Tweet that shit! Okay, I will. Tweet that but first, shit. first, I'm gonna I'm 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 put down my Muppet. Good night! Because everybody has been asking me to do this. Because I haven't in a while. Oh, oh, I'm a happy hippo. Oh. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Tara? I can't take it anymore. Tara, Tara I'm going to take off my shirt. <laughs> 